But today I noticed some injuries. My shoulder is worse, very swollen. Let me see. From the restraints, you can clearly see the bump right here. It's right here. I right, guess time for a bag of ice. I asked them from icing. They said they didn't have it. So I asked for a bag of ice. And I'm gonna use this. Oh, they I'm gonna tie it up to my thing. Let's see if I can. Cause it fucking hurts. And from the leg restraints, I just noticed big ass bruise right here. It's very swollen. Look at that. Look at that, how swollen that is. Like. <laughs> See how this? It's fucked up. This is not part of my injury. This is my injury. This was from them restraining me here. I don't know. My wrists. Yeah. Yesterday when I tried to do have some fun, just decided to dance for a little bit. And uh, the chick that was working at the time, some black short woman, wasn't happy with that. It was 10 a.m. I was listening to the Lion King song. I opened the door and she asked for my phone back. I, okay, I threw it at her. And then she's like, if you do it again, I won't pick it up. And then I just threw it on the floor. So then she left it uncharged all night. And she threatened to call the security because I just asked for 30 extra seconds to listen to the music a little longer. Yeah, she threatened to call security. And what does security do? Tie you up to the bed. Over me wanting to listen to music for an extra 30 seconds. Yeah, imagine that. Now you understand why the planet is fucked? Yeah, you don't. Let me tell you, it's not about an understanding, it's about accepting. Don't fuck with me. Keep fucking with me. What, what should I even say? <laughs> you know, like, you see all these fucking niggers just bragging about... You know, thieving, looting, drugging, blah, blah, blah. Steal from the church. Why don't you do that? It's untaxed. A lot of it is cash only. And they don't keep track of it. Not very well anyways. Where? In the ceiling. They put their money in the ceiling. A lot less likely for you to get caught if you steal from a church than if you steal from a bank. And believe me, churches have a lot more money stashed up in their ceilings than the bank could possibly have for easy access if you want to just a quick in and out. Besides, church does not have any safety precautions for robberies. How do you get that done? Study the place. Study the people. In and out, bitches. In and out. All you gotta do is break in during the night. When there is no sermon. It's easy. Nobody lives there. Yeah. Go ahead. I wanna know when I'm leaving.
So yeah, we're going to discuss that with you today. We have to do an assessment to figure that out. Is there any reason you need ice? Because they hurt my shoulder when they tied me up to the bed. They also hurt my leg right here very badly. Ouch. Huge yeah. bruise. So I'm icing myself up. Okay. All right. Yeah. Today what we want to do is an assessment. So right. What is that? So it's to see if you understand information about mental health and medicines. Uh, so we're going to give you some information about mental health and medicines. See if you understand it. And by medicines, you mean a pill, medication? Yeah. Right. And to see if you have some sort of wishes in terms of treatment. No. Okay. So we're going to start our assessment, if that's okay. Did you want to yeah, I think go ahead? Yeah, so, so we're doing the assessment to see if you can make your own decisions about medication or whether you need someone to help you with those decisions. No. It's my I opinion. can make my own decisions about basically everything, including your own health, if you wanted to know from me. Okay. Can I ask you, first of all, with the medication, the olanzapine, I see you didn't take it. Oh, the shit, care. it's leaking. Was there any reason for that? What is that again? The olanzapine, the medication over the weekends. Because I don't need it. Why, uh, what is it prescribed for? Careful. Hallucinations, blah blah blah, voices in your head, blah blah blah, something like that, right? Yeah, you can right. also calm you down, put you to sleep, and there's also a shit ton of terrible side effects. So, can I ask, do you have any, do you have any symptoms like that? Like, do you, are you someone that hears voices? No, I hear yours, I hear his, and I don't like either. Uh, the frequency yeah. is very bad of someone who is sweating profusely because you're wearing too much clothes, you're probably nervous. I don't know, I don't think you've had a very good day this morning. You probably didn't have any breakfast. So let's yeah. focus on, on your mental health. And then oh, have okay. I thought we were talking just having a conversation. We're not having, we're not just having a conversation. We're doing a oh. capacity assessment so that we can see under the, under the law whether you can make your own decisions. Oh. So it's, a legal, it's a legal process. Okay, can you make your own decisions? So this is about you and your mental health. So oh, okay. I'm so sorry. Yes, okay. continue. All right. So I understand you've been diagnosed with schizoaffective disorder. Right. Do you feel like, do you know what that is? Can I tell you a bit about that? Yeah, it's, it's about me hearing voices and not being able to make my own decisions and not being coherent and I don't know. It's a bunch of dumb shit that has nothing to do with the truth. All right, so uh, with schizoaffective disorder in general, it's a mix of things. It's people that have psychosis. So oh, okay, so I could want to kill people and such. So th th let me finish. Kind of like so a video game. Can I, sorry, can I finish? Uh, yeah. with, psych with psychosis, it's uh, feeling like thinking things that are not necessarily in line with reality, like thinking things that are kind of your own reality. Like a cop trying to arrest me all the time? I'm not sure what you mean by that. Well, you said that it doesn't really seem to be with reality since that's what's happening, since the cops brought me here. And I have so, several videos yeah. of cops harassing me, but you know, it's I'm, continue. I'm, I'm talking about schizoaffective disorder in general, so there's psychosis, right. so believing things that are not necessarily true. Which is the cops harassing me. So other things, other symptoms can be hearing voices, that, right. that could be the case. Which is yours. Um, yeah, so that's, that's, uh, that's psychosis. The other aspect is uh, having... Um, Changes in your mood as well. So, for example, yes, talking to you it influences my mood very negatively. So having manias is, is something that can happen with schizoaffective disorder. So having a mood that's really high, on top of the world, or very angry, um, not sleeping, doing a lot of activities. I sleep great when I'm not here. Yes. So I've explained a little bit about schizoaffective disorder. Do you think it's possible that you have schizoaffective disorder? I just told you all the many reasons why your symptoms make no sense. So I'm asking, do you think it's possible that you have schizophrenia? Holy shit, disorder? so what I just told you this whole time makes no sense. Uh, can you, can you, I, I, I uh, explained every symptom you believe I have, and I gave you a coherent and logical response. Therefore, none of those symptoms are real. Therefore, I'm not sick. So you don't have So any... you rather I just say yes and no, because that's how you understand me better? So Is have, it a button better? You don't have any of those symptoms. No, sir. Do you need a button? Yes or no? Kind of like Jeopardy. So in terms of the medication, the, one of them that you've been prescribed is olanzapine. Right, I know. You've also been prescribed other ones in the past, uh, Invega or Caliperidone. Right, they're all stupid. Do you remember, you took that one in the past? Do you remember? I, I took it a couple of times because they convinced me it would help me sleep. It doesn't. It doesn't even do anything. I don't even notice a difference. I don't really know 
What's the point? I didn't read much on that one. At the time, I didn't care that much. Now I care a lot more. The other one was Zuclopentaxel. Right, don't care. So, next. So I just want to ask you, with that medication, do you remember if it helped you or anything like I that? I just told you again that I didn't see a point. Should I speak slower? So I just wanted to review them separately. Oh. Yeah. All right. Um, so the, the medication that you've been taking, Olanzapine, I propose a similar medication again. I don't think I have been taking it. I took yeah. something to sleep and she, saw, she told me it wasn't that. She told me yeah. it was something else. Two red pills and, and a dissolvable one. A really small dissolvable one. Yeah. Uh, any of those Olanzapine? So I think, I think right now you've been having, recently you've been having symptoms of mania and psychosis. Why? Um, you've been, uh, your mood has been angry. Because I'm being harassed by the police. Do you want to watch the video? The, you've been thinking things that are not necessarily true, like why about the police? Do you want to see the videos? We can see it afterwards. Can we just after what? After we after we talk about the medication. Well, but then you're just telling me that I that there are symptoms that I have that I think the police is after me and they're not, and I have about five videos of the police actually being after me. I, I would I would I would want to see that. Let's just no problem. Okay, thank you. So I think that treatment with the medication, like like in Vega, would be helpful for you at this point. Even you, after you see the video? We can, we can talk about that. Uh-huh. So, um, Vega, I think, will help you with your symptoms of mania. It'll help you feel more calm. What mania do I have? Like your, your mood is angry. Ugh. Yeah, continue. And I think it could, could help you um, with, with some of the, the thoughts that you've been having about things that are not necessarily true. About the cops coming to my house all the time. In terms of the risk, there could be uh, some of the risks include weight gain, um, raising your blood sugars, and also can cause some stiffness. All right, are you able to kind of tell me back any of that? Do you think there's any any benefits to taking this medication? There are cops actually following me, and you said that you would actually watch the video. Will you watch the video, or you're just saying will, you will but will, you won't? I will watch the video. Okay. So in terms of the medication, do you think there would be any benefits to you? There are cops actually following me. Therefore, there are cops actually following me. This is real. Therefore, I am angry. Yes, because it is real. Do you understand? Yeah. It is so, real. So like, it's real. actually. So, and then in terms of the medication, would there, be any, would, it, would there be any help to you from this medication? If the situation is real, why would I need medication? And would there be any risks, any bad effects from this medication? What? Would, would this medication cause you any, any harms, any bad effects? Who the fuck knows? Medications are all about dependency and feeding into your system, right? Alright, okay. So I can, I can see the video if you like. Give me a second. No. Yeah, and, I mean, if you had a choice, would you choose to take medicines or you prefer not to? No. Uh, let me say that for the tenth time, I am being harassed by police. I understand. I have about six videos. One after the other, back to back. Therefore, I have a reason to be angry. It is not a symptom of whatever it is that you say I have. Did I speak slow enough? So I understand you. So, Jameen, if it's your choice, you haven't been taking medicines here, mm. you think you'll be fine if you were to go without medicines? Yeah. Okay, there'd be no consequences to your mental health, you're saying? No. Okay, so you'd be better off without medicines. Yes, and outside of here. Feel free to show us the video. Ah. But you're saying that I'm still incapable of making my own decisions, that this police encounter was not real, that I just showed you. It's real, but... But I still think you have a mental health issue that's bringing you back to the hospital, bringing What you is it? Well, I think we just described it. This so you would still believe that I have an issue and that I'm, I'm imagining the fact that the police is after me? There's more to it than that. Would you like us to give you What a is it that there is more to it than that? Would you like us to give you a handout? Obviously. Okay, okay. But I want you to talk to me first. What is it that is going to keep me here? Your irritability and aggression. That's the main thing. I am irritable right now. Oh my god. So you're serious. Thank you. You don't want to watch the other video anymore on which I got arrested? So they're saying now that I'm going to have to stay here because I'm incapable of making a decision. Even after watching the videos. And then he says, what is the video about? Oh, it says, fuck you, Jesus. So that is his problem. I said, fuck you, Jesus, on, on, on the description of the video. That's his problem. 
Therefore, I have to sign some sort of form to say, and, and they're saying that I'm incompetent, that I cannot make the decision for myself uh, because of my irritability. Are you fucking kidding me? Up for war. That's what he is. He's trying, he's trying to make sure that this is really, really worth it. He's a religious nut, just like everybody else in here, and he's making sure this is worth his time. It's not. Attention, attention, code 6. Uh, let her shut up then. Attention, attention, code 6 to southeast. Attention, attention, code 6 to southeast. This is the paperwork saying that you need to help make decisions about the medication and information about the medication. So how does it mean that I need help making decisions about the medication? That I need to read this and then I can decide? No, no, it's just letting you know that you cannot make your own decisions. And usually people's parents will have to make the decision. Can I get your parents' phone number? I already told you, no. All right. Okay, that's it. Thank you. So what else then? That's it for now. That means you're going to force feed it to me? We can talk about that later. Then you're going to be contacted by the rights advisor. Who is that? It's, it's a person that's from the legal uh, office. Paliperidum. That's the medication, yes. You were on that before. Yeah, in your okay. fucking dreams. Okay, thanks, Jima. Thank I'm going to read this, so I'll talk about it in a second. He's wearing the, the mask upside down. Got to be reading, because speak is. Sit down. Just wait, just wait, just wait. It's upside down. <laughs> I was like, bitch, can somebody tell him that shit's upside down? And I told the nurse. And then she looks at me. <laughs> bitch, uh, look, they came and they gave me a bunch of papers to learn about the medication garbage that they want to give me. I'm going to read it. By the time I'm done, I'll know more about his job than he does. Well, I already do. Let's go.